Lord says to you, spend time in nature to rejuvenate your spirit and gain new creative ideas. Nature has the power to clear lower energies and help you see the beauty in everything and everyone. Connect with the outdoors regularly, even if it takes some effort. Allow yourself to be in sync with the universal heartbeat and feel renewed and alive. Your life is undergoing a major transformation and you are like the Swan Queen, embracing the beauty that has transformed you from ignorance to wisdom. Your worth is not determined by others. You are unique and one of a kind. People may have underestimated you in the past, but now you see your own beauty and worth. Reflect on how far you have travelled and do not rush into the next project. Take your time and make your action steps count. It's okay to sit back a little and observe, listen, and feel what lessons you have been learning. Take your time and allow spirit to catch up with what you're doing. I love all the colours on thee and feel like you need to be surrounded by nature, colour, kindness and peace to be able to decompress and restore your energy. While sometimes feeling things so deeply might seem like a burden, it's a rare gift to care about people the way you do in a world that can be cruel, unkind and cold. You aren't like that. You are someone who cares so deeply about your actions and how they might impact someone. You are someone who cares so deeply about what you say and how you say it and you think before you speak. It's called anxiety disorder. But by definition, disorder is described as a breach of peace or a disruption of order. So if we, as a society, looked at it with kinder lenses, what we would see is someone who cares enough to have their words and actions in order and aligned with who they are and the things they value. I think to be like that is something to be really proud of. God is saying you are guided to not lose hope and keep holding your own faith. When it comes to love, you can try as much as you can to deny or distract yourself, but the energy today is asking you to not block your own abundance and success because of your own headspace and because you know in your heart. It looks like both of you are longing for each other and some of you are not in contact at the moment. I became so calm that I forgot the rage inside me. Beaches are peaceful, but they don't forget to show their ruthless anger at times. The sky is so silent, but they don't let go of their screams, they also roar. I became so warm that I forgot the fire inside. I got so focused on building everything that I forgot it could break them all. I became careful because I didn't want to scar them. I became so compassionate that I forgot I'm a fighter. I wanted everything to be beautiful, but I forgot nature is pretty ugly at times. The sky has rainbows, stars, and all the colors, but it never stays quiet when angry. We still go back to nature, no matter how destructive it gets. Sometimes we should choose rage, not calmness. Type yes, if you believe in God. God bless you.